tarnished metal is an arc lightweight frame 200 rpm scout rifle obtainable in season of the plunder activities it can also be focused at the helm and crafted at the enclave once you've unlocked all the patterns so in today's video i'll be covering both the pve and pvp gal rolls to consider whether you're crafting the weapon or not so without further delay let's dive right in so starting off with the pve god roll in column four the perk i'm going to recommend going with here since this is an arc weapon is the perk volt shot it essentially acts very similar to trinity ghoul's exotic perk lightning rod except with this perk you don't need to get a precision kill just a regular kill and then reloading within 5.6 seconds after is going to apply jolt to the next weapon hit on the enemy you shoot and if there happens to be any ads around that enemy that you hit once you kill them it's going to create a chain reaction that kills other enemies around it now although this is a great perk to use with arc 3.0 subclasses and for most content once you do get into higher level content like grandmaster nightfalls or master raids i don't think it's going to be as useful or effective in that case i think it's better to go with something like explosive payload which is completely free damage just by hitting your targets it's going to split 50 percent of your damage into explosive damage the precision damage increase does vary but for non-precision damage you're going to get a 15 percent increase another perk worth considering in this column that i think is rather underrated is multi-kill clip just by reloading after getting a kill at one stack you're going to get 17 percent damage boost two stacks 33% damage and at three stacks, 50% damage. That means just by getting three kills and reloading, you're gonna get a 50% damage buff, which is pretty insane on a primary weapon and can especially come in handy if you're dealing with champions or beefier enemies. And finally, the last perk I would consider using this column is the perk Focused Fury. Although it requires that you land 50% of your magazine as precision hits, because the timer on this weapon goes up to 11 seconds and even 12 seconds on the enhanced version, I think it's worth trying out, especially since it only requires precision hits and not precision kills to proc. Just by landing eight of your shots as precision hits, you're gonna get a 20% damage buff for 11 seconds, especially since you can refresh this perk. And since we do have 16 shots in the magazine, in theory, if you land all your crits, you should be able to keep this perk procced and active consistently. Moving on to column three, the perk that I think is going to pair best with Volt Shot is the perk Demolitionist. Because Volt Shot is going to be applying jolt to enemies and causing you to easily get multiple kills, this pairs perfectly with Demolitionist, which gives us 10% of our grenade back on a kill. This combination alone, before even trying to build into it with Arc 3.0, is pretty insane on its own. But if you do build into it even further with Arc 3.0, you're going to be able to get your grenades back even faster which is why in my opinion this is the best perk to pair with volt shot now if you instead decide to go with explosive payload for more pinnacle content then i would instead pair this with rapid hit which with each precision hit that you land it's going to give you an increase to stability and reload speed going as high as plus 25 to stability and plus 60 to reload speed when at five stacks now another great option to consider here is fourth times the charm this could pair really well with focused fury in column four just by landing four precision hits within two seconds you're going to generate two bullets into your magazine if you do the math the base magazine of this weapon is 16 that means if you're able to land every single shot as a precision shot you're going to get eight bullets back which will be almost like having 24 bullets in your magazine not to mention if you pair this with focus fury you're going to be constantly refreshing and procking that perk over and over for that 20 percent extra damage so those two could definitely pair well together and definitely worth considering there is one more perk I would consider here and that's if you're doing Grandmaster Nightfalls. Shoot to loot can come in very handy. Just by shooting an ammo brick on the ground not only are you going to pick that ammo up but you're also going to reload all your weapons from reserves. I could definitely see this coming in clutch especially in Grandmaster Nightfalls or any kind of solo content so definitely something to consider. Moving on to column two, usually I would go for something like Tactical Mag or Flared Magwell to help boost our reload speed, but if you're running an Arc subclass as well as Volt Shot in column four, you're going to be getting amped quite a bit, which is already going to buff our reload speed, so I feel like it'd be a waste to focus on any perks that are going to buff our reload speed. So instead, I would go with the perk Steady Rounds, which is going to give us a plus 15 to stability, helping us to be a lot more accurate and consistent. Now, if you don't go with Volt Shot or you're not using an Arc subclass, 
fast, then I would instead go with something like Flared Magwell, which will help out our reload speed, giving us a plus 15 to reload speed and a plus five to stability. And finally for column one, because the recoil direction on this weapon is so bad at 52, I would go with the Perk Arrowhead Break, which is gonna give us a plus 30 to recoil and a plus 10 to handling, bringing our recoil from a 52 up to an 82. Now, if you're not really concerned with the recoil, then you could instead go with something like Corkscrew Rifling or Fluted Barrel, but I would not use any kind of range perks. You're completely wasting a perk. I've seen some people craft this weapon with Hammered Forge Rifling, and that's just a complete mistake because you're gonna get zero benefits from doing that. And finally, for the Masterwork, you really could go with anything here. I would go with either Handling or Stability. Either one of those is good. I know for me, I'm gonna continue to wanna spec into Stability. And finally, for the mod, I would go with Counterbalance mod, which is gonna bring our recoil direction from an 82 up to a 97, making it basically completely vertical. Now, if you don't really care about improving the recoil even further, you could go with something like Full Auto Retrofit, which actually feels quite amazing on a scout rifle. Definitely something worth trying. So just to recap, the PVE god roll that I'm gonna recommend in column four, Volt Shot. Column three, Demolitionist. Column two, Steady Rounds. Column one, Arrowhead Break with a Stability Masterwork and a Counterbalance mod. Moving on to the PVP god roll, starting off in column four, the first perk I'm gonna recommend going with here is Multi-Kill Clip. The reason why is because at two stacks, you essentially have the perk Kill Clip. And with an enhanced version, that duration is gonna be brought up to 5.5 seconds. So just by getting two kills and reloading, you're essentially gonna have Kill Clip with 33% bonus damage, which will actually improve your time to kill, taking it from a 0.93 with one crit and three bodies, bringing it down to a 0.76 TTK, taking only three crit shots to take down your opponent. The great thing about this is you do have a little bit of wiggle room. Even if you're not able to proc times two, just proccing times one and making yourself radiant if you're running a solar subclass will also give you that same 0.76 time to kill. Now, if you are running an arc subclass, Volt Shot is still a decent option here. If nothing else, it's gonna help you get amped a lot faster. You could also go with the perk Explosive Payload if you like to flinch your opponents and kind of be more annoying in the Crucible. Not to mention flinching can give you a little bit of an edge in your engagements. Moving on to column three, I would go with the perk rapid hit. Even if you only get two or three stacks, it's still gonna give you a nice plus 14 to stability and plus 35 to reload speed, which can definitely come in handy. You could also go with something like killing wind, which can actually pair perfectly with multi-kill clip, is after killing an opponent and reloading, you're gonna proc both multi-kill clip and killing wind at the same time. Now, it does give you plus 20 to range, which really is useless on a scout rifle, but we do get other benefits with a plus plus 50 to mobility, plus 40 to handling, as well as a 30% reduced ADS movement penalty and a 5% increased damage fall off distance. Those extra bonuses alone, range aside, are definitely worth considering here. And for some of you, you might actually prefer even over rapid hit. You could also go with something like Moving Target if you want something that is completely passive. It's gonna give us a 3% reduced movement speed penalty when ADSing and strafing, as well as passively granting us a plus 10 to aim assist, bringing our aim assist from a 73 up to an 83. Moving on to column two, I would again go for steady rounds just like we did on the PVE God Roll. Because Rapid Hit is already gonna be buffing our handling and reload speed, the stability is really gonna need some help here. I would not go with the perk Accurized Rounds. Like I mentioned earlier, Range on a scout rifle is rather useless, especially in PvP when we don't even have that many big maps. But in my opinion, it's not worth wasting a slot on, and you're going to get much more mileage out of steady rounds, helping you to be more consistent at landing your crits, proccing rapid hit more often, and helping you to be more efficient at getting kills. The only other perk I would consider in this column, if you don't go with Rapid Hit in column three, is going with Flared Magwell, which will give you a nice plus 15 to reload and plus 5 to stability. And finally, for column one, I would go with the perk Arrowhead Break. The recoil direction on this weapon is really bad at 52, so you're definitely gonna wanna buff that recoil direction. And I really don't think any other perk is worth going for in this column, unless you think you can handle that recoil. And finally, for the Masterwork, I would again go for Stability. And for the mod, I would actually go for a Counterbalance mod, which is gonna bring our recoil up even further from an 82 up to a 97, basically making it completely vertical, helping us to be a lot more accurate, ensuring that we're able to proc rapid hit as often as possible. So just to recap, the PvP god roll in column four, multi-kill clip, column three, rapid hit, column two, steady rounds, column one, arrowhead break with a stability masterwork and a counterbalance mod. 
Well, that's going to wrap it up today, Guardians. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, be sure to smash that like button as it helps me out on the channel. And if you're new here and you want to see more videos like this, subscribe and tap that bell button so you won't miss future videos. Thanks again, and I will catch you, Guardians, later.